Jessica Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Now we're on our way to Makta Wildwood. It looks like we can talk to this one. Ryan Mountains, blow away. Mountains already in right old state, no thanks to Annihilation, but even more scruffy heap now. Not only sad, but scary too. Okay. Okay, that thing is not mean, at least. Okay. Oh, a container. I want it. Quite a rare sight. Ah, oh, seriously? It's right there, but there's no way to it. What do you mean? They found us. What do you mean there's no way to it? Yeah. It can hit me. Ow. There we go. All train cart. What? Man, those Mobius mooks, they make my feathers stand on end. Huh? Ending people's lives like it doesn't matter. Oh, what a sick joke. Their word for people like that? Know what Nopons say? No idea. Tell us. Super villain pon. <laughs> Riku, what does that mean then? It'd be the extreme bad guy. Ah, I think I get it. Meme? What's up, Manana? Then, I know we're in Mio and friends, supervillain Pon. What? You're labeling us? Labeling. Because friends used to end lives also. <sighs> that not That's make not wrong. Super villain Pon? I mean, it's not like we ever had a choice or anything. It was them or us. So, when no choice, not fall under definition then. None of us ever fought because we wanted to. It's just how it worked. How people worked. And the world. You look so weird in that outfit. Huh? Since it make everyone do nasty things. World is bad guy. Yeah? The world is bad. Huh, I never thought of it like that. Now that you mention it, what in the world are we even here for? I wouldn't strain your brain too much. Sounds like you have. What gave you that idea? Cut the stuff. <laughs> just tell me. The end point of it is suicide. Say what? What? If you don't want to hurt others, you'll end up denying your own right to survive. Eventually, you come to the conclusion that the world may well be better off without your presence. The only resolution then is to erase the self, to die. See, pointless. Isn't that taking it too far? The world doesn't just vanish because you've closed your eyes. What? Huh? The moon. Think about it. Why is it that the moon shines? Just because we're watching? Of course not. Even if humans were gone, it would shine on, illuminating the land beneath. Uh. And yet, we're the ones 
that give meaning to it. Getting you into some heavy conversation. Like looks brighter than usual, eh? Similarly, we can now imbue the world with meaning or change it. It's a privilege we were lucky to obtain. And that's the power of Ouroboros. We're obliged to use it. We can make a difference. So we don't become super villains. That's one thing to aim for, at least. Huh. What kind of place is this? I still want to know what is going to happen to Mio. Fallen soldiers. It would only be right to give them the proper repose. They can't leave it like this. Play the flutey flute. Yay, rep. Okay. Another cutscene instantly. Hey, you sure we're going the right way, guys? Uh. Um, well, it's a path at least. Looks like it's going to be a real pain getting through here. True, but we don't have the luxury of loitering. Well, I don't see any other road to take, so let's just get this over with. Okay. Judy, uh. look out! What class is this, and how do I get it? Looks like it's an Agnian class, whatever it is. Uh, weapons, quick! Then again, that doesn't mean. Nope, it is! Oh god, it's an evasion class. Come on. God, this is annoying. Chain attack. Uh, let's go with Indian Prime. Opinion 
primed. Oh, reactivation. Dang it, my tank. Subjugation. Everyone's back. Physical defense down. Thousand damage, dang. Didn't think I'd be falling here. Oh. Uh, well, that combo really worked. Wow. We just want to pass through. We're not looking for trouble. Come on, guys. What's your problem? Juniper, Imogen's at her limit. She can't keep going. Huh? Spark! And we could have had their life, too. So close. <gasps> That's very unfortunate. We'll have to retreat, then. So are they out of their flame clock? Weirdos. Noah, what's wrong? I was just thinking. About that archer, they seem quite the formidable opponent, to be sure. That's true, but there was something else about them. And what was that? You don't think... Those soldiers' flame clocks. They might be getting low. Oh, come on, Noah. You'd better not be thinking of offering your assistance. It's hard to put into words, but... Something's off. What, and you think we have time to be traipsing around on this whim of yours? Yes. It really bothers you? Yeah. Give it up, Tyon. Once I was like this, there's no stopping him. Oh, why do I bother? Besides, Noah's intuition's usually pretty on the mark. We could just take a look. A, a tiny little peek? Fine. I can see no amount of reasoning is going to dissuade you. It's not like we're in a hurry. It turns out to be nothing. We head straight back and move on. Acceptable? That's fine. Okay, let's move. We should be able to catch up to them if we follow their tracks. Oh, is this going to be one of those follow the footprints things? Yep. No, you know how folks 
Orcs are when their flame clock runs low. They'll come on us like starved beasts. Yeah, I know. But I can't just turn a blind eye. Oh. Huh? What in the world is this device for? Well, we've been found. All right, all right, fine. I have no clue what Yuni says. Bonk. Give me a couple seconds for demolition. That one's dead. Oh, you didn't aggro? Okay, fine. You can live. Huh? Is that? Uh huh. Judging by how the tracks stop here, it seems that this is where those soldiers pass through. Through here? But how? They rode the wire across. Doesn't look easily traversable, does it? Yeah, I can't see us getting across there anytime soon. We could always take a detour. Look, this way. Yeah. Thanks, Tyon. Like I said, we can't afford to be hanging around here. I bet we can't use them until we save this these this hero nimble little so and so sliding down here on a rope i wonder if they could teach me to do that yep that's what i thought quite a rare sight you aggro no okay uh, that's that okay we deal with this? I guess we have to. Bonk. Bonk. Did it just fart on us? Oh. Yay, rank up. I think that actually Hang on. I think that finished Noah's class. Yep. Um, let's see, he finished hers too. I'll keep us safe from harm. There you go. What was he? He was a DPS? Yeah. He was actually working on this one. Okay, you are... Critigos. Let's go ahead and put him in for now. Um, arts. Hidden thorn. Cross impact. 
Okay. What do I have on? Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Giant swing. Maximum voltage? Oh. I think this is good. If only you didn't charge off on your own. This goes up to you. Hi. Did he just unlock? Yeah, he did. Okay. Leave the enemies to me. I'll do that. We could get job done right. And we'll switch those two in so I can get the Yum Smith class on everyone. I'm assuming this is the next one because, well, it's the next one in the list. Who's gonna be the him. Oh. Oh wait. Hang on. Uh, arts. Hmm. Demolition. Go. Now he'll teach it to everyone else. Looks like we found it. Colony here? Hi, remember us? That's right. This is an abandoned colony. Please listen to us. We didn't come here to fight you. Mm. We can free you from your flame clock. Free us? You don't have much time left on yours, do you? We can help you with that, so if you just... Stop attacking you? Yeah. Hmm. All right. I'll hear you out. Uh, thank you. Please, come in. <laughs> They're like, whoa, that was easy. He's still wary of us. Can't let our guard down. Always nice to see a new face. Not a lot of people around. Yeah, it's quite unlike any other colony. Well, he said it was abandoned. I've seen a few colonies with dwindling flame clocks before, but this one is especially bizarre. It's like they're not trying to survive here at all. Do you get that impression? Huh. 
Back when I was stationed at Lambda, I'd heard rumors about Colony Tau. What did they say? That deep in the forest, there's a colony with some very peculiar customs and traditions. This is my first time seeing it in reality, but I never expected it to be so run down. Did you oh. have any dealings with it? None at all. This is just hearsay from Commander Izzard. Anyway, we should hurry. Let's smash the flame clock and free everyone. It being an abandoned colony, we are continually starved of sufficient life sources. Wait. Are you the commander? That's right. Sorry, I failed to tell you. Before. <sighs> I am Juniper, and it's my job to lead Colony Tau. If that's so, then surely you must know who we are. I'm afraid I know nothing. Huh. We have no need of such information. Juniper told us we'd welcome you in, whoever you might turn out to be. So, that's the rule. We don't ask questions. But you attacked us back there. Our scouts told us about some monsters in the forest they've never seen before. So, we sent them out on a hunt. But then they bumped into you en route. They must have figured it'd be more efficient to get you out of the way first. So, contrary to our plan, we were made to retreat. Huh. Oh yeah? What about your consul? Where are they hiding? I told you, this is an abandoned colony. Our consul rarely visits us. You're in such a strange situation. All the more reason to get you out of this predicament. I think you guys are getting the wrong end of the stick here. <sighs> it's true. We aren't afraid of Colony Tau's flame clock running out. All it means is the end of our days gazing at our ever-diminishing supply. But you could die. Uh-huh. As if we just let you waltz in and break our flame clock. We all have to perish someday. If our lives should expire, then we'll sink into silence, darkness, oblivion. We'll return to the uh. earth. <sighs> yes, but you can't just... The land will take us, and we will simply be. That's how it is at Colony Tau. No one will ever think of us, and yet here we are. Slowly but surely, we are withering. We don't always find the nutrition that we need to live. If Colony Tau cannot accumulate the vital flames it needs, then it proves only that we were too weak. And in nature, the weak are destined to perish. The logic would dictate that nature is pushing you to become stronger. If we set you free, you won't have to worry about all this crap. We neither worry nor fear for what may come to pass. That's We've already dumb. lost so many of our friends and allies. And every time we return to their bodies to the earth, such will be our fate. What's the point of fearing the inevitable? Hmm. We know we're gonna die. What's wrong with us living the way we always have? But how do you live without hope? It will spell the end of the story that our predecessors weaved for generations. A tale cut short. I would argue that it feels a little melancholy. In that sense, if we were to be freed from the flame clock, then... Juniper! Bad news! Tell me. The monsters are coming straight for the colony, and they already took one of us down. No. They came all the way here. Huh. I'll join you. Always nice to see a new face. Yeah, I was hoping I'd get a landmark. I do want that whatever's up there. It's way up there. Mm. Juniper, we need orders. This is perfectly fine. We'll defeat them right here. Juniper! What are you? Ask us later. We'll back you up. Thank you. I'll fight to the best of my ability as well. Here we go! I want your class. It's a bow. 
always nice to see a new face. Eyes over here! Thanks for the support. That's the weak point. Smooth as always, Noah. Oh. Ow. What is this? One more. Bonk. Get him up, get him up. I don't love when they get launched like that. It's just so silly. Ow. Okay. I'm not wasting that chain of check. Kill. Thank you. Guillaume's okay. He's still alive. Thank the flames. I'm so glad we made it in time. I'm so glad. Now will you let us cut your clock? Accept my thanks. We couldn't have done this without you. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I suppose it's strange of me to talk about the laws of nature when I fear losing my friends. Not at all. Honestly, that seems like the most natural thing of all. When you told me that you would release us from the flame clock, I thought that if you really were telling the truth, it would make life easier. But at the same time, I began to hate the fact that I was looking for a way out. Looking up at our clock, seeing the life ebbing away, I'd already accepted my fate. And letting go of that status quo, wretched though it was after so long i was scared of what might happen if we did oh juniper noah your words at the time seemed so appealing to me i could not destroy the collective efforts that became the colony and everything it represents with my own two hands for then you said you would destroy it for us we'd be guilt-free if that isn't appealing then what is you must have been aware of how tragic it is to simply await death. That's why you invited us, isn't it? Even now, uh. I'm not afraid of dying. But I hated the idea of losing those I hold dear. When I saw my friend lying there... Oh, there's her mark on her leg. I remembered what you told me, and for a brief moment, I felt the grip of fear. I felt so weak and helpless, yet at the same time, I didn't want to let go of my dear friend. So I must have closed myself off. I stopped thinking, closed my eyes and covered my ears. Perhaps I was simply waiting for the inevitable release. Even so, we have to keep thinking. 
That's right. Even if there are things we'd rather not see, we still need to look. And breaking out of your shell, scrambling in desperation for a way to escape despair. That's not what I call being weak. You've defended this place for so long. Why? Because you're strong. And once you're no longer shackled by the rules of the flame clock, you can accept a different reality. You can become stronger still. I know it. We can. You can. It won't be easy. Far from it. But we'll help you. Juniper, it's your call. We've made it this far thanks to you. Yes, I suppose so. If there is a possibility that you can release us from the clock, then please. And if not, it's not like anything's changed. <laughs> Very true. If you can't break it, I can live with that too. Nothing changes without a reason, without a cause. Perhaps this event will teach me to see things in a new light. So is that her hair or like cat ears? Here we go. Time to make them angry again. Hey, level three Agnes. Woo! -hoo! I see acceptance is actually surprisingly easy when it comes down to it. I think it probably is, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if this seems rude, but could I ask another favor of you? Sure. I'd like to learn much more of the world, become a stronger individual. To that end, is there any chance I could accompany you? What do you say, guys? We could certainly do with someone of New class, new class! It'd be reassuring to have you on board. You're very welcome to join. Is your colony going to be okay, though? Can they get on without you? Colony Tau needs to undergo change, too. We need to extend our knowledge and grow. So I'd like you to take me on a trip somewhere far away and show me something new. A journey of discovery, huh? I guess that's another <laughs> thing we need in order to grow. Might be an idea to send some of our younger recruits out, too. Could be a good lesson. It's time to breathe new life into our colony. Let us break free from the chains that once bound us. I guess I'm still hanging about, though. Can't have us all gallivanting about the place. Your consul really doesn't bother to show up, huh? Even after we broke the flame clock? You'd think they'd know. Better this way, if you ask me. Still, we shouldn't rule out the possibility that they'll make trouble for you. If something happens, you tell us immediately, okay? Sure, can do. We'll be counting on you. Well, we don't have all day. I think it's about time we made tracks, no? Ah. You're right. Time to move then. So yay, we get a new friend. Everyone? Ah, don't worry about us. You know we can handle ourselves. We'll prove that Colony Tau can be so much more. Yes, I'm sure it will be. Off you go then, skedaddle. She's going to be the one in the party for a while. Waiting for your return. Quest complete. Natural selection. So who's the class inheritor? Uh, traversal skill, rope sliding. Okay, cool. It's a pleasure. Oh, we already know. It's, uh, Noah. Stalker, roll attacker, deals low damage to individual targets, but excels at managing aggro. Work with allies to make use of the art follow-up fields. This is a traversal skill that Juniper heard taught the party. It lets you grind on ropes set on up on the field, allowing you to descend smoothly and quickly. Uh, with the art of flow taught to you by Juniper, you can cancel arts into other arts without using fusion art. Uh, okay. Oh, hi. My stomach's growling. Always nice to see a new face. 
Can't just leave them there. Maybe I should go with Graziano. It's horrible that our Offseer had to die in such a place. Oh wait, canteen, that means new food. I'm starving. Got anything I can eat? Order food. Been waiting for this. Nom. Makfa Evergreen. So basically a salad. Ooh, a new recipe. Can't wait. Are we all ready to fight? No. Ooh. Always nice to see a new face. Hang on a second. Oh, good thing we found this. Thanks for the food. It is in decline now, but this place still remains an important strategic position for Agnes. Strategic, could you elaborate? It can be used as a point of ambush when Cave's castle or one of the other of the colonies launch an attack for one. Last line of defense, that tracks given this vast expanse of forest. But anyway, it's a moot point. There's been no conflict or flare-ups for quite some time now. Huh. Would you believe it? Hang on a second. There better be something really worth it. This way, please. It'll be faster if we climb up this way. Sweet. It'd be rude not to. I didn't even realize this was the right way. Oh, we got an elevator now. Uh, just to see. This is new. Doesn't seem to be working. Loot. Android gear, blood emerald, and surge sir. Okay, I'll take it. I assume this is gonna shoot a rope. Okay. Of course. We rise and shine. Touch down. Wait. Is that? Hmm? Uh. I see that. Too, huh? Big bo group of bodies. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to apologize. I'm not being very talkative because I'm in extreme amounts of pain, but I wanted to make sure I got a video out. And yeah. But I'm going, I'm trying my hardest here, so apologies. Uh, did it, oh, once I get up this vine, 
I will check the bodies. Or bodies, I mean characters. One, one, eight, three, ten. Support you. Got it. Arts. Heal. Wait. Okay. Multi blast. Um. Oh, I can't send another one. Okay. That actually looks really good on lands. How does Stalker look on? Eh, not so good on him. Looks good on Mio. And Nia. Wait, I see that. Uh, skills. Cypher Edge boosts critical rate. And... I... Sure. Um... Cypher and split second counter. Yeah, I don't need either of those. Um, defensive. What are you? Are a healer. Nice. That's actually really good for you. Here we go. Uh, time for a climb. All right, we're up. What is that noise? Where is everyone? There we go. It farted on us again. Lands, you were the healer. I've never traveled so far from my colony before. You'll do just fine, Juniper. Let's go. Could that be a path? Hey, that looks like a way forward. There's more monkeys over there. Oh, we got some colony stuff we can turn in. What? Well, what the snuff? Where'd this come from? Careful, here it comes. Um. Minute illusion. Eyes over here! Cheers, you're a gem! 
It's... Oh, I was about to say, it's so weird there's no music. Where's our... Oh, <laughs> the fight ended. It... it disappeared. Oh, uh, what just happened? It's likely we're being pursued, but I've never seen a Levinus like that before. Could it be a new model? I don't think we'll get very far just theorizing about it. About it. Let's hurry on ahead. Fair enough, but we should stay on our toes until we leave the woodland, at least. Quest well, complete. Cool. Keves and Agnes are both fully mobilized. We'll have to pick them off one at a time. Oh. Uh, quests. Feels nice filling all that in. Done, done. Okay. <gasps> Ether. Better not spill any of this. Thirty nine forty. Those things aggro. I'm so glad it auto like latches like that. Imagine if I jumped over it. Oh, hey, a rest spot. What's wrong, Manano? Everyone is emergency. What's up, Manana? Manana cannot. Manana cannot go on like this one extra step. We have been walking since Colony Tau, uh, Tau, ah, Colony Tau, I suppose. We can find a good place. We'll set up camp, okay? Meh. Plan need more dinner. You can be strong a little longer, can't you? Huh? Just a little. Fine. But Manana, very, very starving today. We need to make dinner soon, and everyone must help cook. Sure, we'll all be happy to chip in, right, guys? I'm curious to see what tactics you have in place surrounded by so much nature. What say we go hunting together? I'm fairly well versed in that. Okay. I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me. Level up. I don't think I can, but... Oh no, I can! 
Okay, that looks like everyone's, yeah. I definitely feel stronger. Can I craft any new gems? No. 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 Pretty good, right? I'm already itching to try it. Right. All done. I'm already itching to try it. Should be about enough. Cool. We don't need to cook. <sighs> Let's see. I just saw you stuffing your cheeks. The <laughs> Russians should have been divided equally. Manana walked more than you used to today. Tommy was rumbly grumbly. Not much we can do, though. Not now. Manana, look, we've still got a ways to go. So you're going to have to get used to rationing stuff out, okay? Oh, poor banana. I feel like something's going to happen with our food. Yep. And let me guess, are they going to blame Manana? Gasp! All oh, the food's completely gone! Gasp! What's up? What's wrong? What did you say was gone? I think she was yelling about food. What? No way! For real! French Shaw did not just put elsewhere and forget. Nuh uh. I'm positive it was right here. Indeed. I checked it myself before I turned in. Don't tell me someone scoffed the whole lot. Oh, I no knew way. it. Nah. Nah, nah, will leave no plate unpolished. Not even Manana ever stooped to such crude, vulgar behavior. All right, <laughs> all right, we get it. Just chill out already. Manana refused to become frosty. This now matter of honor and dignity. For starters, I know Manana was feeling a bit peckish, but she can't have eaten up the lot. So who then? Hey, check it. Manana, do not. A feather? Manana? But what, what kind? I found tracks here. Hey. These footprints. Uh, uh, I think they're turkey. Mystery solved then. A turkey feather. So, they raided our supplies. Lands can stop apology. Honor and dignity of Manana left in tatters for a vile and faceless accusation. Come on, please, lighten up already. <laughs> All accusations aside, 
We're really strapped for food. Guess we'll have to go foraging. I can go. Luckily, this area is pretty bountiful all in all, so we might not be too hard pressed. Well, better get to it. Right. That better not have made me lose all my food items. Manana is bottomless pit. Well, have Riku know Manana is dainty eater. Not denying. Lies and deceit. On this day of days, Manana will have retribution. Hey. Where does this go? We've got ourselves a runner. Slipped out from the castle. Is this okay? He could get in touch with Ouroboros. Won't that impact our previous arrangements? Not to worry. If he does oh. make contact, they'll come. <laughs> really? Ouroboros are simply like that. Hmm. Well, if you say so, we can probably take your word. Right, O? Hmm, certainly. As you say, P, we probably can take his word. Hmm. Since we're already out here gathering food, we could think up about we could think about building up a reserve of stuff that'll keep for a while. That's a good idea. What would that be? Mushrooms, nuts, and that sort of thing? I'm on it. By the way, when did the when the Turkins got into our camp, did no one seriously notice? Nope, not even slightly. Not even a tiny little bit. Riku was busy sawing logs all last night. I'm sorry, you guys. We had walked a lot yesterday. I'm sure you were just super pooped. You'd never miss something as obvious as Turkin footsteps on a good day, Mimi. I think it's safe to say we were all partially guilty of negligence this time. Indeed. However, we should also reconsider our storage arrangements for the future. Oh well, it's water under the bridge now. No point talk talking locks after the Arden's already bolted, am I right? Let's just get the to the searching already. Very well. Hey, is that... Is that dinner? An egg food. It's hard to fill up on mushrooms alone. I say we hunt some meat as well. Woohoo! I love me some hunter gathering. <laughs> I also see that, like, body in the back. Amazing. All right, with that, Eskonites, we're going to call this episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, Eskonites, share the love. Cool, Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and a huge thank you to my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make the content I do and do what I love to do. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.